Today, I'm going to help you with your finger dexterity. If you have slow fingers or you're constantly fumbling through musical passages, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Chris Davis, and this is a channel that I call Trumpet Lessons HQ, where I give you tips, encouragement, and demonstrations so that you can become a better trumpet player. If that sounds good to you, then go ahead and press the subscribe button right now. First thing we want to focus on is our hand position. You probably heard it before that you want to have your hand in a C shape and you want to bring it to your home, your uh, trumpet like so. That's good. I want to give you something else to think about. I believe in making things as natural as possible when we play the trumpet so we can get our best sound. All right. So with that said, go ahead, relax your shoulders and let your arms fall down by your side. Take notice where or how are your fingers laying now naturally with no tension in your hands. I want you to bring your hand up to the trumpet in that form now and just put it on top of your valves like so. I think that's a good way to play. Now I want you to, to play with this position and, and also more of a C uh, uh, curve shape and see how it feels to you and adopt the best way for you. Now I want to recommend the Herbert L. Clark book for you to study. Uh, if you don't get any other book, just get that one. There are different levels of challenges in that book, and no matter where you are in your development, that's a good book to have. If you have taken a long time off of trumpet, like many of you have told me you've taken off 10, 20, 30 years off the horn and you're coming back, first study is a great place to start. This is what the first study sounds like. Here's another tip I want to give you. Practice slowly. Here's the thing. A lot of people, I don't care if you're a beginner or you've been playing for 20 or 30 years, most people feel like they should be ahead of where they actually are. And, you know, there's always a, a new level to attain. And we tend to keep our eyes ahead. And there's something good about keeping goals in front of you. Uh, but we can beat ourselves up too much, you know, by looking too far ahead. I want you to learn to appreciate the journey. I want you to learn to appreciate where you are currently and just to be in the moment and, and take everything in. Now, with that said, it's important to practice slowly. 60 beats per minute or slower. So this is what 60 beats per minute sounds like. Here's another tip for you. I want you to go ahead and pick up your fingers and slam them down on top of the valves in time. Keywords, in time. Don't depend on any other band member to help you play in time. Take ownership of your own time. All right, and this is where it begins. Pick up the fingers, slam them down in time. You can hear the pattern uh, like this. Here's what I just fingered. Now one more thing I want to warn you against is not pressing your valves down all the way. And what happens is you unintentionally, unintentionally play a half valved sound and that's not clean. Sounds like this. So I thought I was pressing down all the way but I wasn't. It's not pretty. So be intentional with pressing the vowels down all the way. Today I demonstrated Clark First Study, which is the chromatic scale. If you're not familiar with the chromatic scale, go ahead and watch a video that I created right here on the channel. Or watch another video. God bless you. See you in the next one.